Hey guys, today we'll be setting up the Unify AC Pro access point. We can open the box by using the pull strip and see that we have our access point, a wall mounting bracket that attaches to the back, our PoE injector, the PoE cord, and the mounting hardware. Let's go ahead and power up the access point. Plug the electrical cord into the adapter and then using an ethernet cable that you must supply, plug it into the red PoE port. Lift the tab and spin the back plate off the access point. Pull out the grommet and the rubber cover. Removing the cover reveals two jacks labeled main and secondary. The secondary jack is a pass-through for data only. It doesn't carry power. We will be using the main jack only. We are now ready to plug in the power cord. Once you give it power, you should notice a flashing ring of white light. Now we need to set up our Unify account. The Unify account is a global account needed later to log into your controller. You have the option to install a controller program onto a computer or, as an alternative, obtaining what they call a cloud key. A cloud key is basically a controller appliance, a piece of hardware. Either way, each Unify network needs a controller to manage or set up the network. So to recap, each network needs its own controller and if you manage more than one controller, you can log in using your global Unify account. Next, we will download the controller program. You can go to the URL that we have posted here or simply Google Unify controller download. I'll be installing the Windows version. Download and install it. It is a pretty straightforward install process. I left the checkbox checked so it would start when I clicked finish. Starting the controller program starts a program in the background. Once it is fully running, you can access it through a web browser. At this point, we don't need to give public networks access. This was a mistake. Once you can, click the button to launch a browser to manage the network. Get past the security warnings. This will depend on the browser you have. Now you'll need to answer some questions. Give your controller a name. Any name will do. Sign in with your global Unify credentials. I just keep the defaults and click Next here. Simply click Next here. We'll set up devices in a moment. You can click Skip here or set up your first wireless network. We will be able to add more networks later and make changes if necessary. The last screen is just a review screen where you can accept what you have set up. You will then be led to the controller where you can log in again. Again, use your Unify credentials to log into the controller. Click on the Devices tab. If we left our device plugged in, we should see it ready to be adopted. Click the device icon. It should say that it's pending adoption. Adopt the device by clicking the adopt button in the upper right hand corner. 
the device should change to a provisioning status where it will join the network. Here you can see where we have joined five devices to our network. We hope this has been helpful. Let us know if you have any questions.